In this quick video, I just want to show you how we're creating pointers in Java. And the first thing we need to specify is we're actually not creating a pointer. We're creating a reference. Now, this is one place where Java and C++ diverge. If you remember in C++, you had to either create a local object or you had to create a pointer object. And how you reference those would be different whether you're using dot notation or arrow notation. And it got really complicated because you had to remember to clean up all your memory by deleting your objects so that the memory would be released and all that type of stuff. Well, Java makes it much, much simpler. In fact, we've already seen creating references before. Now, in this example, I'm already importing java.util. And the reason why is I'm going to create a date object. My date equals, I'm going to specify the new keyword. Anytime I specify the new keyword, I'm telling Java to create a place in memory for my object. And this object can be an object for a class, like, for example, date, or it can be an object like representation, for example, with arrays, where we have properties like link that we can use to access to make working with the array easier. Using this new keyword allocates memory space. But instead of having to remember a specific location by using pointers to know where that item is in memory, Java is going to control where the memory location is for me automatically. So when I say new date, it just goes out and creates it. I don't have to worry about it. And then when I want to reference date, I can specify my date dot, and then I have the ability to get the time or to get the date of an item. I can do anything I want with this based upon the fact that this object exists. I don't have to keep track if I'm using dot notation or arrow notation. It does not matter in Java. It all winds up being the same. So it doesn't matter what the property is or what the method is I'm going to call. I don't have to worry about is this a pointer or not, because in Java, everything is a reference. All I have to specify is dot and then the method name for the, my object that I want to call. So we've seen this with arrays. We've seen this when we create a string. And here where we're creating a date object does not matter whether this is a built in object, something that comes with Java or something we create. What's nice about this is if we have large objects later on that we need to move around, Java will move around the memory for us and it keeps track of where it is. We don't have to. This dramatically simplifies our work as a developer and what we have to do. So that's a real simple example of how we're creating a reference to an object and not having to worry about it.